Hi there guys, Ralph here with 4K Equipment. And today I've got another iDig video for you. It is the manual method installation. Uh, the model we have here is the 740, the CT740. I went ahead and already have everything installed here. As you can see on the stick bucket, boom. And then in the cab, we've already got the touchscreen, light bar, and 2D sensor, which we put behind the seat there. Mainly what you'll need is some sort of plumb bob. I've got a magnetic one with string and a weight on it. Tape measure. It's really helpful to have a second person. I'll get to the point where it's really helpful to have that here in a minute. And then we have our laser set up on a tripod. Uh, the iDig installation kit comes with an adapter for tripods for this laser. But we just had a tri-brock already installed. so. Let me hop into the cab here and walk you through every step for a manual installation. Alrighty guys, I'm here in the cab now. Uh, first step is choose your language. I'm going to go with English slope units. I use degrees. We're going to go with fractions. That's what my tape measure is down there. And then uh, weight units. We'll do pounds. It's not too important on here. Uh, wizard or manual mode. This is the manual mode. From here, basically what it wants is it wants the lengths and the sides of our main boom and dipper stick and then the offsets. Uh, basically to get the offsets for the wizard, we're going to put the boom pin in line with the stick pin using the laser and I'll go ahead and show you that. But first let me go ahead and measure my main boom from my boom pivot point to my stick pivot point up there. It's just a straight measurement and that's what it wants for length. My sensors are both on the left hand side and I don't have a second boom here. So I'll go ahead and find those measurements and then I'll be right back. All right, now that I have the lengths of my main boom and dipper stick in here, I'm gonna make sure the sensors are on the right side. If they are on your right side of your boom, this is where you put right. And then for the offsets, which is what it needs next for these two sensors, uh, I'm gonna click on that offset number there and I'm gonna use the offset wizard. So here, it's asking for us to put the two axes of the element according to the position below. So what it wants is basically the boom pin in line with the dipper pin. So it wants right here, this boom pin in line with that pin up there. So what I'm gonna end up doing since my laser, which is what I'm using to see when it's level, so I'm gonna lock it into here and then rotate out left, and making sure that this is level. This does have a self-leveling laser in it and it'll start beeping when it's not level. So all you have to do is be close. Uh, basically, I'm gonna throw down my, my dozer blade there and get that as high as possible so I can stick out my arm here and get those two pins in line with each other horizontally so I can put this in as horizontal and then hit the check mark. I'll be right back and show you what the machine looks like. When All I get right, it. so I finally got it here using my laser, getting the light on that boom pin over there on the right, and then getting it on the stick pin on the left. I just rotated it over for you to check it out. By shooting my dozer blade down, I got it to go right in the center of that boom pin over here. Oh, I'm blocking the laser here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, basically right in line with that pin over there, which now allows me to hit the check mark on the vertical, the horizontal. And I would just like to mention on here, um, sometimes I have people complaining that that green check mark isn't there. Uh, what's going on is um, that thing is vibrating a lot, especially at the end of the boom. Um, what, it's, what it's basically saying is it's jumping around too much for you to hit the green check mark. Uh, in this machine, you can just change the speed of the motor. It'll, it'll smooth it out. Um, if you have to, you can end up uh, putting your bucket on the ground out there. Basically, you got to figure out what you can do to get that horizontal so you can hit that horizontal. And then for the dipper stick, we're going to do the same thing. But for the dipper stick, we can go vertical. So what I'm going to do is get everything back to normal here. Get that dipper stick completely vertical because we're going to use that for the bucket anyway. So I'm going to hang my plumb bob off that dipper stick 
uh, pin that when it, where it connects to the boom and then drop that all the way past the bucket. That way I can make the dipper stick itself vertical along with the bucket and then that's basically all you have to do. And now that I have the stick vertical, what I ended up doing was I have a magnet up there at the top attached to the string, straight plumb down in line with the stick there. And now I just need to close the bucket to get that bucket vertical for whenever I end up calibrating my bucket sensor. And just a quick reminder, bucket sensor calibration, you can only use the manual mode when the sensor itself rotates at the speed of the bucket. So if you have a quick link or anything like that that actually rotates at the same speed, you can totally do the manual mode. And then if you put it on your upper dog bone here or any other dog bone assembly that rotates at a different speed than your bucket, you have to use the wizard mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my bucket forward until it hits my inline plumb. And then I'm gonna go back to the cab and I'll keep moving forward from there. All right, now that I have both my stick and bucket vertical, I can come over here to the offset wizard for the stick and hit the check mark. Basically, it's at the degree where the, the stick is vertical, and that's all the system cares about. So now that I have all of these filled out, I'm gonna hit the apply button down here, and then it pops me over to the next tab. I'm not sure how good you can see that uh, buckets up there. And what I'm gonna do is hit add bucket. And now that we're on the buckets tab, uh, basically I'm gonna go down there and get my length and width for the bucket and then make sure it's on the left hand side here and then we already have that offset wizard so i can come from here and just say it is vertical right now and then hit the check mark and then my offset is already filled in so now i'm going to go get the length and width and put it in here real quick all right and now from here since i have the length and width and then the offset of the sensor itself um, it wants this floating tab which is highlighted red um, basically what it wants to know is the difference for the screen to represent what is actually going on with the bucket out there. And it's the same thing here. We're gonna click that red thing. We're gonna click the offset wizard. And from here, it says put the bucket down in a floating horizontal position. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, I got out and made sure that the bucket is flat in a floating position just off the ground there, using the ground to determine what flat is. And then uh, once again, my machine is doing that thing where it's not letting me pick the number because it's just vibrating too much. So I'm just manipulating the speed of my machine, calms it down, I'm gonna hit the check mark. And now everything here is filled out. I can rename this. Um, I'm gonna name this to 3.5 foot bucket, just the length of the bucket there. 3.5 feet. And then I'm gonna hit apply. All changes will be validated. The selected machine with the selected bucket will be loaded if you validate. I would like to go from there. And alrighty, my machine is now set up. My boom stick and bucket sensors are all calibrated. Uh, the next thing to do would be to calibrate my 2D sensor. Um, so what I'm going to do is go into settings and it's system settings here and then wired 2D sensor down here. I'm going to click calibrate on that and that's going to walk me through this, uh, this calibration for the 2D sensor. It's the one where it has you rotate around four times. So I'm going to do that off camera. I already have that in my wizard mode uh, video if you haven't seen that. But uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Another tip for checking the validation of the bucket, uh, basically all of the sensors uh, calibration, is what I'm gonna do is I can actually catch this laser that I still have set up. I'm gonna catch the edge of it with the bucket up in the air and then move the bucket closer to me. Let me go ahead and set that up and then I'll resume this here in a second. So I moved that laser off to my left here so that it's shooting down towards my bucket there. Now I'm gonna raise my bucket and catch that laser here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see on screen that tiny dot, especially in the sun. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and maneuver my bucket boom and stick to where I'm gonna catch it with just the edge. And then I'm gonna come over here. Oh, here, let me fix the camera. So that laser is right on the bottom edge of that bucket over there on the right. 
So on my screen here, I'm gonna come over and hit the check marks and zero out on this point. And now I can still see the laser from here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it towards me and even rotate the rotate the bucket a little bit. Give it give it some movement on there. And then I'm gonna lower the stick until I see that red dot. Okay, it went way too low. And boom, that's right where it was on the other one over there. Let's see. I am about a quarter to an eighth off rounding down to zero in most situations and that could just be the vibration of the motor here so let me yeah looks like I'm about an eighth somewhere around there and that's just eyeballing a red dot from here at about 10 feet so that's just another little tip to uh, be able to see how well that you calibrated your machine there it's a little more accurate than just a foot off the ground but uh but yeah there you have it there's the manual mode installation um, this kit is all completely ready to go the next step would just be to learn its features and how to use it better and speed up your uh your laying out process so yeah if you have any more questions feel free to contact us at 4k equipment um, yeah thank you for watching